In the previous video on the Grignard reaction of aldehydes and ketones, we saw the nucleophilic addition of a carbanion to the carbonyl carbon. A similar reaction can occur with sodium borohydride or lithium aluminum hydride, which are two sources of nucleophilic hydride. Since a new carbon-hydrogen bond is formed in these reactions, the carbonyl is reduced to an alcohol. Sodium borohydride is a mild hydride source, so it can actually be used in the presence of a protic solvent, such as water or an alcohol. On the other hand, Lithium aluminum hydride is a much more reactive hydride source. Therefore, it is not compatible with protic solvents, much like Grignard reagents were not compatible with protic solvents. Such solvents would quench the reagent through Bronsted-Lowry acid-base reaction. Consequently, the proton source, which is usually water, or dilute aqueous acid is typically added in a second separate step. Much like Grignard reagents or organolithium species, sodium borohydride and lithium aluminum hydride contain bonds with unusual dipoles. Both the hydrogen boron bond of sodium borohydride and the hydrogen-aluminum bond of lithium-aluminum hydride are polarized toward hydrogen. Consequently, the hydrogen is electron-rich and behaves as though it were H- or hydride. In the first mechanistic step, the hydride is nucleophilically added to the electrophilic carbonyl carbon, and this in turn displaces carbonyl pi electrons onto oxygen. The anion that is formed then deprotonates the solvent, either water or an alcohol, to yield the product. In this generic example, a ketone was used as the substrate. So the product is a secondary alcohol in which the carbon bearing the hydroxyl group is connected to two other carbons. The mechanism is quite similar when lithium aluminum hydride is used. The only notable difference is that after the nucleophilic addition of hydride to the carbonyl carbon, the anion that is formed simply persists until water is added during the second step of the reaction. It is at that point that the anion can be protonated to afford the neutral alcohol product. Let's consider a specific example in which benzaldehyde is reduced through treatment with sodium borohydride. In contrast to the generic mechanism where we used ketones as substrates, here an aldehyde is being used as a substrate. And when aldehydes, other than formaldehyde, are reduced in this fashion, the products are primary alcohols in which the carbon bearing the hydroxyl group is bonded to only one other carbon. Nucleophilic attack of hydride on the carbonyl carbon displaces the carbonyl pi bonding electrons onto oxygen, and this is followed by protonation of the anion by the solvent. In this case, methanol was used as the solvent. The product of this specific reaction is benzyl alcohol. In summary, sodium borohydride and lithium aluminum hydride 
are reducing agents that donate hydride to the carbonyl carbon, thereby reducing aldehydes and ketones to the corresponding alcohols. Sodium borohydride reduction can be conducted in a protic solvent, such as water or an alcohol. However, lithium aluminum hydride is incompatible with such solvents, so the proton source must be added in the second step of the reaction. The preceding was an excerpt from the book Introductory Organic Reaction Mechanisms a color-coded approach to arrow pushing. If you found this video to be helpful, you may be interested in the complete book, which is available in ebook format from Scribd, in paperback from Amazon, or in paperback at a discounted price from Lulu.